The following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Boatest.com, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Sun Tracker Party Barge 22 XP3. Now, the design team at Sun Tracker tell me that they made this to be an affordable family party platform. Let's take a look and see how she does. We'll start with the numbers. She's rated for engines from 115 horse up to 200. The most popular option, the 154 stroke, and that's what's on our test platform. The Sun Tracker Party Barge 22 XP3 has a length overall of 24 feet 2 inches and a beam of 8 feet 6 inches. With an empty weight of 4,880 pounds, 80% fuel and two people on board, we had an estimated test weight of 5,550 pounds. The engine's mounted to an integral pod that extends out from the center pontoon. 52 gallon fuel tank is just ahead. With the 150 horsepower Mercury 4 stroke turning a 15.6 by 13 pitch inertia propeller, we reached our top speed of 35.8 miles per hour at 5800 RPM. This cruise was measured to be at 3000 RPM and 15.6 miles per hour. At that speed, the 3.7 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into a range of 200 miles while still holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 52 gallon total fuel capacity. Upon accelerating, we reached 20 miles per hour in 5.2 seconds and cruised through 30 miles per hour in 9.3 seconds. The 26 inch diameter XP3 high performance multi chambered pontoon logs include welded on lifting strakes, wave deflectors, and internal bracing for additional strength. And notice the added trim work where it meets the deck. This all provides excellent handling characteristics that start right from cruise, where we found that just a bit of up trim got her into a roughly 5 degree bow high attitude where she performs best. With calm conditions, we were left with crossing the wake of our camera boat to show an easy transition and no hull slap or adverse feel. She turns well and has a nice response to the helm, remaining fairly level in the turns. We did ventilate the prop a bit, but bringing the trim back down solved that. Basically, with this 154 stroke, no matter how heavy handed I got, it stayed comfortable throughout. Of course, pontoons are mostly about relaxing and nothing beats a comfortable slow cruise where, in our opinion, they seem to look best. Well, now that we've got it tied up, let's take a look at some of the features on board, starting with this swim platform. At its narrowest, it comes out 18 and a half inches, extends full beam, and to the starboard side, beefy swim ladder that's easy to deploy. Coming in, our first gate is 25 and a half inches. Lift and lock into place. At the stern, there's opposing seating consisting of couches, of course, with the usual storage underneath. However, these have a different take, Stowmore seating. That's because we can lift the back and get 50% more storage. We also have additional storage at the end. And to the side, changing room. The battery is mounted under the aft port cushion, and take a look at this, lockable storage under the starboard seat. When it's time to break out the lunch, table can go right in the center. Overhead, a bimini. Unique about this is its quick lift system can be deployed by one person and it's nine feet. To the port side, we have a center mounted gate. This one's handicapped accessible with a width of 31 inches. Sun Tracker went with a comfortable helm seat that's got a storage pouch in the back. It swivels and slides and includes flip up armrests. The console, all fiberglass. The console is laid out in a minimalist but functional atmosphere. Removable windshield up above, dual multifunction gauges, storage in the center, rocker switches to the side. Here we've got a 12 volt accessory plug, MP3 and USB connectivity plus Bluetooth for the Jensen stereo and our phone can store over on the side. I like how the horn stands out. Ignition is way up high out of the knee strike zone. Hydraulic steering on a tilt mount. The engine control is mounted at the typical angle that we see on pontoon boats, but still nicely within reach of the seat. There's a convenient footrest down at the bottom and cooler storage to the side. Continuing forward, the couches are largely mirror images of one another with the exception of the added backrest to the starboard side. They're both rotomolded and we still have the Stowmore seat storage system. Notice the hinges on these seats so that the cover stays open. The same table that we had at the stern can also be moved to the bow. The standard decking is this vinyl, which I find to be a little bit slippery. I'd like to see the upgrade to the woven vinyl. Both of them are on top of marine grade plywood. The foredeck comes out a maximum of 16 inches, which allows us plenty of working room. Nav lights are to both sides, and we have six inch cleats, two to each side, both fore and aft. The fencing consists of inch and a quarter rails. 
There's a rail lock system underneath to hold the cover in place. That takes us away from the snaps that are so difficult to attach. The panels available in two colors. And lastly, she's offered with an optional trailer that includes tandem axles, a swing away tongue jack, and even a ladder to step onto the bow. Well, what we have is a comfortable boat, both from her handling characteristics and her interior accommodations. And that's my full look at the SunTracker Party Barge 22 XP3. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.